Hi, I'm Senator Malcolm Roberts and I'm here at Meningi, South Australia, between Lake Albert over there and the Coorong and the Great Southern Ocean over here. And I'm with an amazing dairy, family, dairy uh, farming family, Brad Fisher and his wife Karen and his mum Leslie and his dad Mick and third generation. Correct. And what stunned me when I met these people, uh, Brad and his parents, was just the attention to detail. We're in a shed here that covers a hectare. A bit over a hectare, yep. Around yep. two and a half acres, just for cows. Why, mate? Uh, it's to keep keep the cows out of uh, out of the extremes and level their environment out, so out of the out of the mud and uh, wet in winter, and uh, out of the heat out of the heat in summer. And we've just seen the sprinklers go on. That's part of the convection system for keeping the cattle cool. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. To make to, to essentially drive intake. So the most comfortable place the cow can be is standing here on the on the rubber mats, one inch one inch thick rubber mats, eating the ration that we've given them. Uh, getting getting the, the water sprayed on their back, cooling them right down, keeping so, them uh, healthy and happy. Because cattle get stressed with a fairly low temperature, so yeah. you're looking after them. Yep. You've got uh, a roof here that's got solar panels on it, so you're independent. And you've also gone to a lot of trouble to catch the water and, and you recycle it and recycle it yes. five times. Yep, up to five times, five uses of, of the water. Yeah. So the shed is also sloping 1%. 1%, yep. So it's 200 metres long? 220 metres long, yep. And so it's just over two metres two meters down that end. Four. Yep. So that makes easy water management and you've got grids for catching the water. Yep. And yep. then pump it, where does it go next? Uh, it goes into a sump at the base, the base there with an agitator in it and then a pump goes up through a, a slope uh, separator which the solids are taken out, fall on a pad which we then uh, take away and turn into compost. The liquid component goes through a two pond system and then it's reused here to flood wash, flood wash the barn. And then uh, its final destination is out, out through a pivot. Any other things that you want to tell us about? Any other attention to detail? Because it really is amazing. Um, there's, a, there's a fair bit. We originally uh, built, built, the barn, built the barn with a focus on, on cow comfort. Cow comfort. So if you can keep the cow happy and healthy all of the time, production uh, will, will, will eventually flow from that. So you can't, you can't force a cow to produce uh, big leaders, but if you keep them happy, you keep them healthy, then yeah. And that's a key thing, because I'm tired of people bashing farmers as being cruel to animals. Farmers do it partly because they care for the animals, right? It doesn't matter Correct. whether they're sheep yep. or, or beef cattle or dairy cattle, farmers care. They also have a profit motive, because the, the better you look after your animals, the more mm. profit you make, the more milk yep. you get. Yep. So there's no denying both issues, but the point is farmers care cows are cows are they're they're a finicky animal but they love boring they're creatures of habit <laughs> they love their creatures of habit so we milk we milk uh 550 cows three times a day every day and uh yeah they just they just love the idea of coming into the dairy walking through coming back on to feed having a lay down producing milk for for, for next milking anything we have a we have a breakdown or anything uh out of the ordinary you have extra you have uh, new staff on in the in the dairy and the cows know straight away that something's different they don't they don't like it and you yeah. employ locals and you also employ um exchange people yes. and also occasionally backpackers, backpackers as well yep okay. yep yep and, and uh how many people you got here at the moment uh there's nine full-time staff nine okay yep, plus myself yeah and, and it's also like we've seen in other places highly scientific you measure it various things to control the process to, to make sure the cows are really happy yep yep, yep. everything the, the the ration is obviously a balanced ration uh from a nutritionist uh everything's 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 uh weighed in weighed out plus uh the production of the cows we have milk meters in the dairy so we know what the cow is producing every milking and they know when a cow is getting beyond the prime yep. and, and when it's coming into prime yep uh, and which cattle to, to keep and which cattle to, to let loose. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, and, and, and then all the cows have actually got a, a, an ankle pedometer on. So, okay. so that's their identification in the dairy, but it also measures how many steps they take every day. So if a cow is on heat, which she comes on roughly every 17 to 24 days, she'll take more, more steps because she's, she's on heat. <laughs> uh, the, the, the dairy automatically drafts her in the morning and then we, then we uh, artificially inseminate them uh, that morning. So yeah, and, and you you went out of uh, dairy farming because of 2007. the drought, two thousand seven, yep. and it, it's not a simple matter to come back in like that. You don't it's just a, go out and buy buy cattle because they're expensive. Yes, you've got a how long are they just in gestation? About uh, nine three hundred and five days. Yeah, in nine months. Nine yep. months, and yep. then you've got to wait what two and a half years before they're old enough to have their, their own calf. Well, they carve they carve in at roughly two months. They, uh, 
21 to 24 months yeah okay yep so it takes you a while to rebuild your herd absolutely absolutely it was it was it's uh it was an expensive exercise still is an expensive exercise uh well, we're still paying for it obviously borrowed the money from the bank to yeah. get back into it um but yeah yeah it, it is it is an expensive exercise plus the plus the infrastructure and all the rest yeah right so what you can see here is a, a very um expensive business to run but a business that if it's run well can make money but you need a lot of things to go well with you. Absolutely, and, and, and on top of the water issues, we've also got the, the, the dairy industry issues as well. Yeah. yeah. Well, mate, it, I mean, it really was inspiring, is inspiring to see, see the outfit, the whole operation. Thank you very much. No dramas.